Hello, uh, we're back, or I am back. Uh, here, uh, Ivan mentioned before the way how uh, white can improve the position and the win, uh, but Aronian find another way. Um, according to him, King went to the backside of the um, uh, black's position, and he managed to trade the pieces and uh, win the opponent game. So it happened G4. It is must play G4, and then uh, he managed to force this bishop to be on D3, which is very nice square. Uh, for um, for for example, in this case, check and king cannot go on on G3, and because it's a pin. So if king comes back on E5, then it's a uh, Easy loss and check. But in the game, it was bishop e4. And here, rook takes e4, king takes e4, king g6. And here, uh, black resigned because this is a very losing opponent game. So I think that's it. And Aronian is the another person who passed the fifth round here. Okay, bye. Question on Twitter from Damas. Uh, I should not have pronounced that. Uh, that was a bit of a trap, yeah? For those of you who are new to chess, it might look like BA3 is an illegal move here because white advances pawn two squares, not one. But it's a little something we call en passant. And you can do that, but you have to do it instantly. You can't wait for a move, like let's say play king e7, king g2, and now try, because I could have do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is this is too funny for words. This is a software glitch. I'm pretty sure there's not a lot. <laughs> Lawrence, hello, Lawrence. Yeah, I'll play four against Lawrence. And now he's going to play something against me, which we discussed at length uh, during the course of my stay. Yeah, he told me this is excellent. D5. Uh, this was what I was kind of hoping for because now I think E5 is quite. Strong. No, Lawrence. This is not how chess works. Sadly, it would be much, much more fun if chess actually worked like this. But I don't think it does. Or maybe it does. Well, that's me regretting what I just said. How did I get from there to here is a little bit beyond me. And what's worse, I will never hear the end of it. Uh, my quality of life has just gone downhill tremendously because I'm actually sharing the office with the guy. Center. We have Levon Aranyan here with us, the hero of today's day. Um, what happened in this battle today? Yeah, <coughs> well, my, at first of all, my opponent played a very suspicious line in the opening, and then uh, instead of just playing very solidly, uh, maybe instead of Queen D2, just Rook C1, I think White should have a very easy advantage. I decided for some reason to play for mate and I blundered a couple of things. First of all, I forgot that he is threatening to exchange the queens and then 
as if it, it wasn't enough, I also blundered his move f6, after which I thought I'm, I'm in a grave danger. Uh, and then, well, I think I did a practical draw offer. And uh, instead of taking my pawn, I thought if black would have played the queen d2 bishop to rook ac8, uh, I don't know, I, I didn't like what's happening because he keeps all the same ideas and uh, I mean, he, he will go for the e6 pawn eventually. So I thought I'm, I'm in a big trouble. And then I got a little bit activity and then I think he should have uh, not played g5. Uh, generally, I think he underestimated uh, my bishop b5. And after that, I think I already have decent play, should be enough for a draw, but after g5, I'm the one who's pressing. Okay, I mean, here he, he also offered the draw, but at that moment I felt the momentum is with me, and then, uh, yeah, I kind of managed to get this endgame, which I, for some reason, remembered it should be winning, but first, but which I analyzed a long time ago, but I couldn't find the win. It was so embarrassing. But you were trying to secure the situation, like you played g3 first and g4. I mean, you were trying to find the best, uh, let's say, location of your of this pawn. No, at one moment I realized that the position is winning if the bishop is on d3 with the g4, because I will have this uh, important uh, rook uh, uh, switch. And but with bishop on c2, I couldn't see uh, how do I do it, and then I was short of time, so. At one moment I was worried, because I cannot allow him to bring the king to h4. That's his only way to defend. And when the bishop is on c2, he manages to do it. So, But, I mean, uh, probably people are sitting there with table bases and laughing at me. But no, they're not, I'm sure. I mean, everybody understands it's not easy at all. Just, I mean, I have a question. This was 82 move and you played rook b2. I mean, I, th I think something is wrong with this square in this match with b2. You played rook b2, he had this move king g5. Did you think of it? I mean, he played quite quickly bishop d3 instead of this king g5, king yeah. g4. I saw, I saw, I saw that he had this and I, I was not happy with myself. Ah, so you, you understood that something is wrong here? Yeah, yeah I knew that uh, black has this defense with king on f3 and then he gives away the pawn and puts the bishop on g4. Uh, Maybe he can even take on g4, king f3, I'm not sure, I didn't check it, but... Yeah, it's but... In the air. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was uh, just trying not, not to lose on time at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was another problem, and uh, of course I cannot uh, not not to ask you about the previous game and uh, why why I didn't take rook b2 immediately? What did you miss and uh, what was your mood after that? No, I thought just to play precisely. I completely forgot about 98, which was as embarrassing as today's game. But uh, in in this tournament, generally, uh, I think players do not uh, show their best play because uh, there is so much on stake, especially for me, trying to qualify. So it's very stressful. Yeah, but how did you manage yesterday to recover after that or you just decided to forget about it and that's it? I mean, just I'm curious, I mean, it's not so easy. Sure. Well, first of all, I, I mean, I didn't really get the chances. I mean, my opponent created them for me. I was trying, playing for a fight yesterday, uh, but then, okay, I, I thought when he found this knight takes d6 and uh, uh, he will get always the compensation which should be enough for a draw. And then when I played queen f6 the first time, the correct time, I felt f4 is just a draw. I wasn't too pleased with myself. And then uh, suddenly I got chances and uh, as it normally comes, when it comes very easy you don't appreciate it. <laughs> Those sort of things in life. So, and I just thought, okay, I'll, I'll get this free point. So, and I missed it. Yeah. Are you happy about, uh, let's say, the fact that you proceeded to the next round? Yeah, I think uh, no, I needed see. a rest day. It was enough tie breaks <laughs> <laughs> in my uh, tournament, and of course, I'm very happy. Uh, my opponent uh, was playing well throughout the tournament, so. It was a good achievement for me. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much for the comments. Thanks. Thank you.